Hey y'all, I'm Jo from Jo's Monogram Vacations and today I have a special guest. This is Brant. Brant, I meant to tell you this before we started, but do you see these dots on my phone? That's mm -hmm. the camera. So when you're talking, that's where you can look because it's like you're mm -hmm. looking at our friends, even mm -hmm. though we can't see them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Can you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm nine years old. I'm in fourth grade. Uh, and what are some things I, I go to um, Lucy Franco in elementary school. Mm -hmm. Go um, leopards! I really like to read and write, and I also like to um, go on vacations with my, my family. He and does. He loves like to that. go on vacations with me, and I love to go on vacations with him. Aw, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> he is also one of the funniest people I know, um, but I am a little bit biased. Um, so this is my oldest son. He, we, he has a little brother, and you may see him run around behind us. We just got <laughs> home from church, put on play clothes, and um, they're upstairs, maybe going downstairs to watch some football. Um, so I wanted to hop on here with Brant. He mm -hmm. really wanted to do this, and also he knows a lot about Disney Cruises. He knows a lot about Disney in general, um, but you do know a lot about Disney Cruises. Um, um, well... Because you love them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's pretend. Let's go in our imagination. Yeah. To, let's say that we're going on a cruise. And we're at the port. Uh -huh. um, sometimes waiting at the port can be kind of boring, huh? Tell me about it. But you wait until they call your group. Uh -huh. And then when they call your group and it's time for you to board, what happens then? Well, um, so you, like, there's this big hallway you walk mm -hmm. through. Um... And um, so, and then there's some hand sanitizer, which mm. you will get. Yeah, you know I like the hand sanitizer. <laughs> uh. So anyway, we get hand sanitizer. What happens after that? Um, um, well, you board the ship and they like, um, for instance, like, um, Disney Wonder, please welcome the... Donald's and family. <laughs> and everybody claps and cheers. Yeah. The first time we went on a cruise, you were a little bit nervous about that, right? Mm, yeah. It, Did you it think? can be a little... Kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. Like... But once you did it once, are you? St does it still make you nervous? Well, kind of. You're drawing attention to yourself and, um, well... But is it a little fun? Well, like, you're, like... You're, you're, um, you're having, like, um, like, you're having all these cast members watching They're not you. cast members. Oh, crew members. <laughs> you, you, you might get that mixed up sometimes. That's um, okay. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna have all these crew members, and the thing about the crew members, they're not only gonna be from the U.S., they're gonna be from, like, all over the world. That's a good point. Yeah. Some of our friends have lived all over the world. Yeah. You really make friends with the crew members, don't you? Yeah, and another thing about them, um, once, once somebody is your server, they're always your server. Mm -hmm. Like, um... Say you went to um, Animator's Palette one day, and then the next day you go to Tiana's place. I'm using the Disney Wonder as an example, because that's one of the two ships I've been on. Um, and, um, well, the, like, they have been your, um, if they have been your server at Animator's Palette, they will be your server at Tiana's place. That's right. So you get to know each other. Yeah. And they get to know what you like. So, for instance, what do you like to drink? What was it that you drank on the... Do you remember? On like the, some kind of pomegranate water It was like... Drink? Yeah. It, I, I, have, I don't know what it was. It was pomegranate super water or something. I don't know. Um, but they, they learned that Brant liked that. So when we would sit down at our dinner, every single night there would be a cup of that waiting for him, just for him. Um, they, they learn what your kids like and they make sure to have that waiting for them. Um, Brooksy ate macaroni and cheese every single night on this last <laughs> cruise. So they would just bring him a bowl of macaroni and cheese. Hello. And that was pretty cool. One thing that I like as a mom is, so you have your head server, then you have your assistant server head server I mean it's pretty self-explanatory but your assistant server really helps out a lot with the kids and one thing that they do and I've talked about this before they cut your kids food up for you 
You like they bring everybody's food and you don't have to cut anybody's food up. They do it for you and you can just dig in. I love that. That makes me, that gives me a lot of joy. Do you remember them cutting your food or you don't really remember? Mm, it's, been a, it's been a while since I've been on I know. Do you know it's cruise? been almost a whole year since yeah. we've been on a cruise? Yeah. You gotta fix I that. Thought the last time we went on a cruise was um, like last year or something. Mm -hmm. and it was last December. I can't exactly remember what happened. Like Everything, yeah. Yeah, I think. Well, so you're on you're on the ship. They introduce you. Yeah. Um, what do we do after they introduce us on the ship? Well, you can just like explore the place, and it it doesn't it it your room is not ready like right away. As soon as you step on board the ship, sure. your room is not waiting for you. So you have to take um, so you have to wait a little bit. Can I interrupt you for just a second? Yes. You might not remember this because you're a kid and you're not in charge of everybody's suitcases. Yeah. But it's true. I know, Cindy, I gotta take this kid on a cruise. I'm the worst. Um, so, when when you get to port, you they take your luggage. So you keep your carry-ons with you, just like you would um, at an airport, and then they deliver your luggage. So that, oh, dog. Um, they actually um, are delivering everybody's luggage, and that's why you can't get in those hallways right away. So when your room is ready, your luggage is waiting for you or it's coming very soon, which is nice. So you're not walking around the ship exploring with a bunch of suitcases. We usually yeah. just have like a backpack and another bag. Yeah. Um, one thing, just one thing that um, each adult can bring on two bottles of wine um, when they board. And so you keep that in your carry-on. So that is one bummer. So, Cause like then we were walking around with four bottles of wine, like in the backpack, it, it's a little heavy, but it's worth it. So just a little aside. So you explore until you're speaking about the luggage. Um, you can, while you're waiting in the port, you can actually like see them delivering people's luggage. Yeah. Like to the, yeah. So it's not all boring when you're hanging out at the port. Yeah. It's, they usually have characters to meet. Oh, yeah, they always have characters. Like, they usually have, like, Mickey or Goofy or something. Mm -hmm. like, and you can see the ship. That's yeah. always exciting. And like you said, you can see them loading the luggage. Yeah. So, it's not all bad. Yeah. But it's kind of like waiting in an airport. But um, while, um, while, while you wait for your room to um, get ready, um, like, it, just explore. Get familiar with the ship. Mm -hmm. it's a, the ships are big. They are. I, I, I'm not going to deny that. <laughs> um, do you feel, is it overwhelming? Or do you get kind of used to where things are? Um, well, everything seems familiar to mm -hmm. you. But that, um, that does, that is not, um, well, that, hey, um, <laughs> um, when when people who I'm friends with on Facebook are watching, I can like a little note pops up, and and my his dad just popped up, so he's he sees his dad's name. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, oh come on! I lost my train of thought. Well, getting used to the ship and where everything. Oh is. yeah, that. Um. Well, y yes, you do get used to the ship. You get used to what it looks like and all that. And where everything is. Mm-hmm. And but. You still feel excited to be on there. It's 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 kind of a hard feeling to um like it it's kind of a it's just um joy. Yeah, it's it's kind of a like taking that in that fact you're you're on a cruise. It it's kind of it's kind of hard to take in. Like it it's really cool. I feel the exact same way when yeah. I'm on it. There are times when I actually I do this a lot of times on any vacation, but I remember um, doing this, especially on cruises. Like I'm here right now. We are all here together right yeah. now. This is happening. Yeah, like this it, is happening. It's just so exciting, isn't it? Yeah. So you get on the ship, you explore. Your room's ready. You go check out your room. Can you tell them a little bit about the rooms and? Well, um, the um, like the. Um. <laughs> <laughs> There's the camera. Sorry, my husband. <laughs> anyway, so we get in the room, and we usually um, book a veranda room. Um, and we the the great thing about Disney cruises in particular is everything is thanks, Cindy. Leave us alone, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is going off the rails. Uh, Disney's rooms are very much oriented for families. So you've got the split bathroom. So yeah. like I can be washing my face while you're taking a shower. Yeah, like because one bathroom has a toilet and a sink, and mm -hmm. the other has a sink and a shower. Yeah. Um, you want to tell them about the beds? Well, um, like the whatever it's called, the king size bed. It's, it's a queen. A queen. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Um, so it's extended so you can like store all your luggage and bags That's under true. there and then the bunk bags for the kids they um, they will fold out like out of the couch and up the wall and out of the wall and mm -hmm. um, but you don't have, won't have to worry about doing that yourself because you're um, room steward <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> just ignore daddy Okay. Um, your room steward will fold down their beds for you. Yes. Because it is a little bit complicated. Yeah. It's, um, and then yeah, we, like, li we like... It, like, you're, you're, like, they will fold down the bed so you don't have to worry about that. And mm -hmm. then there's a curtain. Fun fact. I just thought of this. Yeah. You can request your room steward to put character sheets on your kid's bed. It won't be done like your first day. They just have standard Disney cruise sheets. But it, when you see your, your room steward, you can request character sheets. Now, in my experience, I haven't been able to say, hey, my kids want Spider-Man sheets. That, that hasn't been the case. They have what they have. Um, both times, uh, y'all got like Pixar sheets. Like the good dinosaur. Mm -hmm. I think I got that last time. Yeah. So, um, but it's just something fun you can do um, to ask your steward. And it's just something, just something extra and fun. And then there's the curtains that kind of like separates um, your, yeah. your um, the kid part of the room mm -hmm. and the adult part of the room. Mm -hmm. And um, and then um, and then there's um, the revan the veranda. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I worry about like it. It can be. Um, it it can be um, nervous. Like it, it, it can be relaxing. Yes. It is relaxing, but sometimes, like I worry, like to fall overboard. Yeah, and stuff like that. Well, like, I actually get that question from my clients sometimes. They're yeah. like, "We would like a veranda room, but I'm worried about safety with my children." Um, and I'll tell you what I tell them. First of all, there's a partition on the um, veranda, and it goes up pretty high. I mean, I would say it goes up to my chest, and it's clear. Um, and so. Like, my little one doesn't see over the partition. He's actually looking through it when we are on the veranda. So, that that's good. And it's thick. It's very thick. Um, and then also, the the door to the veranda, the way the lock works, there have been times that I'm like, I can't make it work. It's very um, secure. And there's two parts to it, and you got to do it in unison. And, Anyway, all that to say is kids can't get out there without parents because this adult sometimes has issues with the door. Um, so you know that there will always be an adult out there. And as long as you lock the door when you come back in, a kid can't get out there by themselves. So, and but if, if, you, if that didn't make you feel any better, you know, if you're thinking, I really just don't want to take the chance, I'll be a nervous wreck the whole time, there is um, ocean view rooms. Yeah, like port port yeah, like portholes. Um, my family would take a veranda over a porthole room, but um, there's something about the portholes, like you can lay down on them yeah. and like you yeah. can look at them. It's relaxing both like in viewing terms and like resting terms, like you could lay down on the verandas and watch, and watch the ocean go by and that's a good point one thing i want to say is not all ocean view rooms have the kind that you can sit or lay in yeah only certain ocean view rooms do now all the ships have those portholes available like there are some in the adult only areas that y'all mm -hmm. got to check out once um but some rooms just have portholes that are like windows and some will have two small ones some will have one big ones and then some will have one big one that is actually like a seat Think of like a rounded window seat. They're awesome and they are very relaxing. Yeah, and um, and then there's the pool. The pool, um, it is a really cool pool. Well, is it? I mean, it's not that big. Yeah, like, yeah, I'll admit that. 
so the pool to me it's fun mm. but it's not like the most amazing it doesn't now there are water slides on the pool deck yeah and i'll get to those later we'll get to those later but the pool itself doesn't have a water slide it's just a rectangular pool um but one thing that's really cool do you want to tell them about funnel vision yeah so in funnel vision um like like um to um like they um they're gonna like be playing movies mm -hmm. like movies and in between the movies what kind of movies like just disney disney movies not like the the live action marvel and star wars movies they play those sometimes more at night in the yeah. daytime it's remember marvel day at sea oh uh, yeah marvel day at they sea. played marvel movies on Funnel vision all day long yeah, and like Marvel shows and stuff, but in between um, the um, the um, the the movies and stuff like that, um, they um, they, they 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 have like Disney trivia and so basically one of the so the pool faces one of the funnels and the funnel has a screen on it and they show Disney movies, Disney shorts. Just all sorts of fun stuff. So you're swimming in the pool, but you're watching Lilo and Stitch, or you're watching Princess and the Frog. It's really cool. Um, what? And and then the announcements. Yes, and then that's, hi Brixie. Hi Brixie. Um, and then also, what else is there to do on the pool deck? You're missing um, my favorite thing. Ice cream. Ice the cream. The ice cream. Oh. They like change the flavor every day and if you're not sure what to pick, like say you're stuck between mango and strawberry. Like say if you really like those two flavors and you're not sure like, oh should I pick mango? Like, but I really like strawberry too. Mm -hmm. Then they always have a swirl so you can try both. That's yeah. always what I've gotten. The swirl is how Brooksy learned that he liked chocolate ice cream. Yeah. He used to only like vanilla until he tried the sorrel. Yeah. Um, and it is awesome. I mean, it's all you can eat, self-serve, soft-serve Even his cream. name is cool. I scream. scream. Yeah. It's Mike Wazowski. It's super cute, and it's super delicious. And we get our money's worth at the ice cream, don't we? And... Yeah, that's nice. And then right next to it is um like soy sips, which has like cups and yeah, like smoothies and stuff like that. Yeah. There's a pizza restaurant. Pinocchio's Pizzeria. Pinocchio's Pizzeria. There's um what else is there? Um, brood Pete's Boiler Bites. Pete, thank you. I don't know why I was. Yes, Pete's Boiler Bites. So that's like um, Daisy. Daisy has a restaurant too. Daisy's it has, like, Delights. Daisy's Delights. Um, which um, which has like um different like different stuff like um i get i've gotten salads there sandwiches yeah, stuff, wraps, like that, stuff. stuff like that stuff like that lights <laughs> yeah. um and then pete's boiler bites has uh hamburgers and hot dogs yeah stuff like that it's also like, where you can get the shawarma people love the shawarma yeah and there's a lot of stuff you can do on mm -hmm. the deck so there's lots of entertainment um and then there's pirate night pirate night. like there's a pirate night on every um ship like every ship, like there's a pirate night on this random night, and it's it's like the whole day is pirate themed. You get to meet pirate themed characters. You get to dress up as a pirate. There's a deck party, and can you tell them a little bit about the deck party? So it's at night. It's after dinner. Yeah. Um, and they do well. You tell them. First um, of all, does everybody just wear like their normal clothes to pi pirate night? You can if you want, but that's right. But do we? No. no, we wear pirate costumes. Yeah, the the good stuff. Yeah, we like we dress and and like seriously, I've had clients say, I don't know if we want to dress up, and I'm like, you you do not have to. It's dress not up. a requirement. But the vast majority of people will be dressed up, and there's a very good chance you're going to wish you had if you don't. Like if you don't think you want to dress up, you might change your mind once you get on the ship and you see everybody else decked out. So. I would take something, maybe. It's, it's fine. also, let me just say this one thing. You may get tired. Ooh, yeah. That's, that, like, I was dozing off while I was watching the deck party last time. Really? Like, I don't remember. Like, that. I was really tired and. Really? Yeah. It's just jam packed full days. One thing, do you get as tired on the cruises as you do when we go to Disney World? Well. 
it's kind of a torture on your feet. They don't have like, like they have stuff like buses and then the monorails and then yeah. stuff like that. But, but it's really hard on your feet. Well, what I was thinking is when we go to Disney World, we get up early. Yeah. We go straight to the parks. Yeah. We go, 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 go all day. Yeah. And then we don't get back until super late at night. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The cruise is not really like that. You can wake up when you want. You can go back to your room when you want. You can go lay out by the pool when you want. So you're busy, you're doing fun stuff, but you can take a break pretty much whenever, right? Yeah. But sometimes you do get tired. There's yeah. just so many fun things to do. Yeah. And then um, there is, like, the water slides. Mm -hmm. I can literally name each water slide on just each Just a second. Ship. Before, we're going to talk about water slides, but let's go back to Pirate Night. About the um, deck party. Can you yeah. just tell them, they don't know what a deck party is. Can you well, the deck party, um, well, um... What did they do? They, um, like, there's there's a big party on the deck, and, well, the pool, well, if you're thinking, well, the pool's going to get in the way, they actually close up the pool. They do. So. They, there's, like, a floor that they put on top of the pool for all deck parties, like, sail away party and stuff like that. Yeah. So you can, like, dance on the pool. That's, like, the kids' area. Yeah. And they film the kids dancing and put it up on Funnel Vision. You've been on Funnel Vision. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have. That's cool. And then they have, like, a stage, so they have the entertainment crew dancing and leading the kids um and then there's like a show with characters and yeah. pirates take yeah. over the cruise ship yeah and get us you have to save the cruise ship from yeah. from pirate mutiny right dun, 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 dun. and then when it's all over yeah. what happens dance party before the dance party oh you get Fireworks. to see me oh yeah yeah they're <laughs> Fireworks and Mickey on a zip line. That's your entertainment, folks. Yeah, that's about <laughs> it. Fireworks and Mickey on a zip line. If when it's really, <laughs> do you know that when it's really windy, he can't do the zip line? Yeah. yeah. Have, that, you, have that, you seen it without the zip line before? I think on our last trip, he didn't do the really? zip line. I've seen it both ways, um, but I can't remember which ones we were together. And then, like the Marvel, when we did Marvel Day at Sea, they had a big dance party, and it was windy. Somebody was supposed to zip line that night, and they didn't. Uh, I, think I think it was, was Spider-Man. Yeah. I can't remember. Justin, do you remember? I know he's a great co-host. He really does know more about Disney stuff than me. Like you know so much, so much. Um, so yeah, now can you talk a little bit about the water slides? Because okay. they are awesome. I can name. I can literally name each one. Go for on it, dude. Each of the four ships. Let's hear it. So on the first one. So starting off on all four ships, there is a twist and spout, and that's like a little kitty water slide. Well, I mean, not... You wouldn't Plums can ride it, too. You wouldn't put a baby on that. No. No. Like, it's, it's a twisty water slide, um, and it... I don't know. I mean, like, my five-year-old last year, he was five on our cruise last year, and he, yeah. he could go on it by himself. The year before, the time before that, I think he only did it with a parent. Mm. Um, it's Captain Marvel that... Oh, they changed it now, Captain Marvel zip lines. Yeah. Cool, because she flies. That makes sense. Um... <laughs> um, so anyway, it, it's not, I wouldn't call it a kitty. Yeah. I mean, kids couldn't do it, but little, like toddlers couldn't do it. Yeah. But it's fun. And it's not scary at all. It's not too fast. It's twisty. Mm -hmm. But the aqua dunk, mm -hmm. mm, it's it? one of those slides where you stand on something and then the floor opens beneath you. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, 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 I don't want to try that. Obviously. I've never done the aqua dunk either. Yeah. But um, then there's also the aqua duck on the Disney Wonder and the Disney Fantasy and the aqua dunk is on the um Disney Magic just so you know. And um the aqua what duck the dream is have? Dream Map? Yeah, what what It has a twisted spout and the aqua duck and it's the same okay. with the fantasy. Okay. Yeah, but the wonder doesn't have the aqua duck. Yeah, the wonder, it only the wonder. has the twist and spout. Yes, okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, so the aqua duck is um is um it's a much calmer. It's a much calmer ride than. Yeah, the floor doesn't. Yeah, you actually get in a raft and like um like you go like there's even a neon part which mm -hmm. I think looks kind of cool. Yeah. And yep. you also get. High views from a de from of the deck, and you even go out uh, over the ocean. Yeah, it goes bit. over the side of the ship. It's so cool. Yeah. And the great thing about the raft is there are two people rafts, so you can do it with a parent. Yeah. Or your brother. So, 
So like if if like you have a toddler and you really want to like if you have a kid who can't really go on stuff by his himself. Mm -hmm. But you there still... is a height requirement for them, and uh, I'm blanking. There's a height requirement for the twist and spell. I think it's like 38 inches tall, and then there's also a height requirement for the aqua duck and the aqua dunk, depending on what ship you're on. Um, so baby babies can't ride that. But there, you probably don't know this because you're a big kid. Um, but there is a baby splash area. Um, so there is. Yeah, I knew, I knew that. Like, oh, okay. Like there, like it's a small pool, mm -hmm. like a splash pad, and it's right next, and it's like right under the, the um, the um, the twist and spout, mm -hmm. and yeah. right next to the aqua lab, is it? Yeah. So then there's another area on the pool deck. Yeah, and then you, you get to get really. There's a lot to do on on the pool deck, yeah. and it's the aqua lab, and um, it's got like a smaller pool for kids. Yeah. Um. And then like a splash zone that's like Huey, Dewey, and Louie acting crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's also really close to where the um, twist and spout is. And then there's another pool that I'm going to talk about for just a minute because it's the adult-only pool. Yeah. It's quiet. There's a bar right there. It's right by, it's right in front of the spa. Um, it's lovely. Bye-bye. <laughs> so it's quiet so your kid you can spend time with your kids and then send them to the kids club and you can hit up the um adult only pool so let's talk about the kids club so oh yeah perfect timing <laughs> all right um it, so there's the oceaneer lab and the oceaneer club mm -hmm. in the oceaneer club there's like different parts and <gasps> look ally says hi Hello. Allie is one of our friends that we have cruised with before she was on your very first cruise oh yeah yeah that's cool we need to cruise again together. So like there's like a I've only been on the um the Disney Magic and the Disney Wonder. Mm -hmm. So um on the so used to um so on the Disney Magic there was like a Mickey Mouse area, mm -hmm. a Marvel area, like the the Avengers, like something and then there was um a something to do with the fairies from Peter Pan. Yeah, a Pixie Hollow. Oh yeah, and then there's always a Toy Story room. Andy's room. With, yeah, Andy's room, like with um, a slinky dog slide. The Magic has a Disney Junior room, doesn't it? It used to have that like Mickey Mouse cartoon room, mm -hmm. but it was replaced with a Disney Junior room, and I'm, I'm, I think it might. I remember. It was a Mickey Mouse room. Okay. But when we went on the Wonder, it might have been the Mickey Mouse room and been well, transferred into the Disney Junior room because it was Disney Junior themed now. They also and, had a um, Frozen room. Yeah. And then the Avengers room and... And then... Secret Passage. So there is a Secret Passage they can get... Um, that's Miss Angel. Um, her kids go to your school. Um, so, actually, one of her kids. Never mind. Um, <laughs> there's a secret passage from the Oceaneer Club to the Oceaneer Lab, so your yeah. kids can go back and forth without actually entering in the public areas of the ship, so they're checked in, they're accounted for, they know exactly where they are, but they can go back and forth as they please. Um, what are some of the things you do in the Oceaneer Lab that maybe you don't do in the Oceaneer Club? Well, there's a big science thing. Mm -hmm. So, like, experiments? Yeah, and in one room and then there's like in there are like little stuff like iPads. Oh, it's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, the the Disney Junior room, Mickey yeah. Mouse Clubhouse. Yeah. Well, I think that's on the Wonder. I think the Magic still has that Disney the Mickey room, but Remember we'll... when Okay. Okay. I'll I'll yeah. explain it to you later. I'm telling you, he does know more than me, so he's probably right. All right, continue. <laughs> um so so there's the iPads. Yeah, and then there's another room, like, you get to sketch stuff, and then craft stuff, and then there's a middle where they have, like, games and stuff. Yeah, um, there's a game that you can play on one of the iPads, or all of the iPads, I guess, where you're, like, steering the ship. Oh, yeah! Well, yeah, that's in, like, the arcade room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, like... 
Do you remember some of the experiments or things you've made in the lab before? Well, there's a volcano thing, and that's mm-hmm. open house, so you're... Well, sometimes. So parents, sometimes that's open house. So, There's um, always a open, an open house wall you are um wall year when on your like first, first day, day when you yeah. just boarded there's an if you don't know what it what an open house is can i talk about it for just a second okay so the to for security reasons only children are allowed in ocean air club ocean air lab so when you drop your kids off you check them in they go wash their hands and then they're free but adults cannot enter in um other than open house. So your very first day, they have open house in all the areas. So you can go and explore with your kids, have them get more accustomed to what it's gonna look like, what they can expect in the different areas. And you also feel better because like as a parent, I like knowing um, what you're gonna be doing and also meeting the crew that works in there. The crew in the kids' area is phenomenal, always. Um, It's actually phenomenal in all the areas. You the are crew right. members are always. You are so right, Brown. You're absolutely right. Um, so, but in the lab, there usually aren't characters over in the lab, right? I don't think I've ever seen a character. But there are some characters that come to play in the Ocean Air Club. What are, like, just a couple of the characters you've seen? So, um, when we were on either the Magic or the Wonder, um, they had, like, these superhero origin stories, like, for yeah. Spider-Man and, yeah. and Captain America and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And um, and um, then there was also um stuff like you could like there was some like once like other than the origin story story once Spider Man came and we did something like an activity together yeah and then Black <laughs> Widow and Hawkeye can't come they need to do open and, house like, they, there and there they um like they practice archery yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Pluto goes and does like a bedtime thing, like late at night sometimes, like in his PJs. Uh, Mickey. Did, did Anna or Elsa ever go in there? Do you remember ever seeing them? I know you didn't hang out in the frozen room that often, but I'm just curious. No. No? no I okay. didn't. So maybe. But, but there are characters, so they'll do activities that are character centric, and they get to do that with your kids, and it's super cool, right? Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. One more thing, and then maybe we'll do this again another time because there's so much to talk about. But um, let's talk about, just for a minute, the different ports on a Disney cruise. What is the best port stop in the world? I didn't ask you this ahead of time. I hope you know the right answer. Um, I'd say Port Canaveral. That's, well, yeah, that is the best. And then there's also this, like, uh, Galveston. Yeah, so, okay. So there are ports where um, Disney sails out of. So there's Port Canaveral, Galveston, New Orleans, Miami, San Diego, and New New York. York. Yeah. Um, But when you're on a cruise and it stops for a day at a different location, that's called a port of call. So, you know, we have sea days and port days. So what's your favorite port of call? You gotta love Castaway Key. We love it. It's a Disney private island in the mm-hmm. Bahamas. Mm-hmm. Like once my um my parents went there for a getaway. Oh yeah. And they actually saw a, and they were in the Bahamas. And they saw a Disney Cruise. Yeah. But what do you like to do? Why do you like Castaway Key? What's cool about there's it? There's a big beach there and there is. And then there's snorkeling and mm-hmm. you get to like pet Stingrays, they take the stings off before you start worrying about that. Yeah. So it's safe. It's yeah. safe. They have like that big playground. And if and if it hurt and if you're like the the sting and it doesn't hurt the stingrays. It's like getting a haircut. Yep, exactly. Or yep. Like, yep. So they don't they don't hurt the animals, they're really careful with them. Um and they, so they have like a family beach. Ginormous. Chairs everywhere, umbrellas everywhere, and then they also, on the other side of the island, have Serenity Bay, which is the adults-only beach. It is also ginormous. Chairs everywhere. People who um, bring you your drinks, and um, it's very quiet over there. And Uh, then there's always ice cream at a Disney location. Yes, they they continue to have all-you-can-eat soft-serve ice cream on the island. And they also have food, yeah. so and everything's included. All yeah. of this is included 
and your cruise fare, which is, I mean, amazing. You pay, that's one thing that Disney does so well. You pay one fare, um, but it includes everything you need. Um, and so you're not having to pay extra to go um, to this beach or go to the adult beach or get lunch on the island or whatever. It's all included, which is really nice for me and daddy to know that we already paid for it. Mm. You can eat as much as you want. One thing that I like as a parent about this whole experience um, is that when we are on a Disney cruise, I feel like my husband and I get to say yes a lot. And you know, because we're parents and because we have lives to lead and, and things to do, I feel like we have to say no to our children a lot. When they ask to do things, when they ask for things, when they ask if, they, if we can do something, a lot of times the answer is no. No, we have to do this. No, we're not doing that today. But when we're on a cruise, I feel like I get to say yes all the time. And of course my kids love that, but I love that too. I love, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that's a great idea because you're not scheduled like other vacations, you've got a nice And then we, we can't forget the plays. Yeah, could... maybe we'll just have to do another one because there's so many more things to yeah. talk about. Yeah. There's the entertainment, yeah. Yeah. there's the activities on board, mm. like trivia and like, animation we could, classes. Like, like this can be like Disney Cruise talking part one. Maybe so, maybe we'll do this again another time. Um, there's the theaters, you know, the movies and stuff. So there's so, there's just so much to do and see on a Disney Cruise. I want to go on another one now, <laughs> like now. There, there's always there's, like, you, like you like if like you you forget about it after a while. You think kinda, so? Kind you kind of forget about it and how awesome it is. Yeah, and like when you like watch a video or something about it, like that that um that feeling you want and that you want to go there, it kind of returns and like I want to go there. I want to go there. Yeah. I think I have that feeling every day, though. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all have a great afternoon. Thanks for hanging out with us, talking about Disney cruises. We'll do this again sometime. You want to tell everybody bye? Bye. <laughs>